Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, news and commentary from the heartland. And I'm your host, Bill Stone. Well, Special Counsel Robert Mueller has released his report detailing whether or not the president uh, colluded with Russia to influence the 2016 election and if there was any obstruction of justice regarding that matter. And a summary of this has been released by Attorney General William Barr, and you can find a link to that below in my description box. It is in PDF format. The details of the summary are pretty straightforward. In terms of Russian collusion, there was no Russian collusion between Trump and Russia. There was an attempt by Russia to influence the U.S. elections via social media, but in reality, such attempts aren't new, nor are they unique to Russia. The United States does such things all the time in many countries and has done so numerous times and will continue to do so in the future just as every other country does to us. It is not something to worry about. If you want to worry about something, worry about the Chinese. Now, I'm a 40-year IT veteran with one of my specialties being IT security. And a few years ago, while I was looking at the attackers on one of the servers I was responsible for, I discovered, kind of inadvertently, a Chinese botnet that rather staggered my imagination. And that's amazing, amazing because I can imagine quite a bit this botnet is made up of hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of internet-connected devices worldwide. In fact, if you're in Asia, well, it's safe to assume that your home or work router is probably part of this botnet. If you're outside of Asia, well, it's a good assumption, though it may not be quite as common. And the botnet explores, explores rather several security holes that are common in Wi-Fi routers that you probably have in your home. And to be honest, if I wanted to infect any and all of the exact same routers, I could do so with what programming code that I know how to do. And my emphasis was never in programming. So if you want to worry about somebody, worry about the Chinese. Now, Mueller also found that Russia had hacked the Clinton campaign and the Democratic Party and released some or all of that information to WikiLeaks. To be honest, I think that's fine. As an IT professional, 40 years with an emphasis on IT security, I think that any campaign or party that can't figure out how to secure its information probably deserves to have its dirty laundry aired in public. So thank you, WikiLeaks and Julian Assange, for making this possible. Hopefully, someone will hack the Republicans and air their dirty laundry to the world, because you can be sure there's lots of dirt. They just haven't been quite so incompetent as to be hacked. Yet... But don't worry, someone will eventually. As regarding obstruction of justice, Mueller declined to make any determination. He presented what evidence he had to the Attorney General and left it to the Attorney General to decide if there had been any obstruction. And this is the part that the crazy people are going to grab onto because the entire Russian collusion propaganda campaign that we've had for the last two and a half years just fell apart completely. All I want to know about this is really... Why is anybody surprised to anyone with a political memory longer than about two months? None of this should come as a, as a surprise. What nobody seems to remember is that the whole thing started with a story run by BuzzFeed, which, by the way, is the online modern version of the Weekly World News. This story had been floating around for months, and every other press outlet, including all of the usual anti-Republican ones, wouldn't touch that thing with a 10-meter cattle prod. It only became an issue, and it only gained momentum after BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed ran it. And it included a lot more salacious detail, such as Trump pissing on Russian hookers. Who the hell thought that ever happened, really? It was, obviously, nonsense right from the beginning. And only Democrats desperate to overturn the 2016 election because they couldn't figure out how to deal with a loss ever thought that anything would come of it. Like it or not, yes, this was, in fact, a witch hunt, just like Trump has been saying. And I dislike agreeing with him quite a lot because I'm a libertarian and I wouldn't vote for either a Democrat or a Republican if you put a freaking gun to my head. But the facts are obvious. This was obvious nonsense to begin with. And anyone who thought it was true was one of two things. Either a propagandist, which includes all of your news outlets, by the way, or a fragile little snowflake who simply couldn't deal with loss on an, either an emotional and or psychological level. 
See, normal people in every single freaking election prior to this one, every single normal human being in the world just said, oh, well, oh, well, better luck next time. And then they try to figure out a way to appeal to the voters so that maybe they'll win the next time. So if you're a propagandist, as are all of our people in the press, it is time to admit to yourself that Joseph Goebbels, Adolf Hitler's minister of propaganda, would be proud of you. Remember, it is a secondary model of the show and always scrolls past on my lower third. Nothing you see in the press is real. Nothing. And I'll say it again, I've said it before on this show, I have made a hobby for the last 30 years of debunking the press. And in 30 years, I have never, not one single time, ever seen from any news outlet anywhere a story that accurately and dispassionately reported the facts. And this includes, by the way, Fox News, if you're a conservative. Because where everyone else is a Democratic propagandist, Fox is simply a Republican propagandist. And none are accurate. They are not accurately and dispassionately reporting the facts. Now, if you want to see some details about this, I certainly invite you to watch two of my own videos, one of which is a little more recent called Viewer Challenge, Debunk the Press. The other one of which is older. It's a live stream that I did a little bit longer. And you can called Nothing You See in the Press is Real, Nothing. And you can see both of them. There are links to my, in my description box below. And I walk through my methods of debunking the press. Believe me, Nothing that you see in the press is real. Nothing. If you ever see a news story on the TV, flip away. If you ever see anything in a newspaper, cancel your subscription. If you read or watch news outlets on the internet, click away. Nothing that you see in the press is real. Nothing. I can recommend one and only one news story, source, and that is Agenda Free TV, which is a YouTube channel run by Steve Luckner, and it is in my description box below. There's a link to it. I certainly recommend viewing it. I recommend subscribing to it. I certainly recommend hitting that notification bell because Steve employs the same methods as I do when attempting to evaluate the accuracy of any given event or press report. Again, Agenda Free TV, run by Steve Luckner, link below. Like, sub, and hit the notification bell on his channel. And share him on social media. He's great. Now, if you are a snowflake, it is time to grow up, face reality, and figure out a way to appeal to the voters so that you can win the next time around. But let's face it, let's face it. Neither the propagandists nor the snowflakes are going to do that. The propagandists, as these are everyone in the press, remember, are instantly going to throw this whole Russian inclusion thing down their memory hole and pretend it never existed and latch on to instead the obstruction of justice charges. And the snowflakes will scream and rant and rage and continue to move towards more violence like the Antifa and in the process inch this country ever closer to civil war. Now be advised, I do not usually curse on this show. I like to make it family friendly. I use generally fictional, science fictional curse words because, hey, I like to show how smart I am. Um, but in this case, I'm going to make an exception. I make exceptions to not using curse words when I want everyone to understand what I'm saying. So snowflakes, I'm looking at you. You need to grow the fuck up. Sometimes you don't get everything you want in life. Sometimes your favorite presidential candidate doesn't win. That's just life. You need to learn to deal with life's adversities. And the way that you do this is to grow the fuck up. Now, regarding the obstruction of justice charges, well, this is going to turn out to be nothing as well. The main issue here is Trump's firing of a former FBI director, James Comey. Now, this is something, firing an FBI director, that any president can do at any time for any reason. And multiple presidents have done so in the past. This is not new. And the reality here is that James Comey is corrupt. He is really, really dirty. He actually testified in a Senate hearing that he took notes of meetings with the president and then leaked these notes to the press with the intent of triggering a special counsel who has now spent two and a half years fooling around and finding precisely nothing. 
to begin with? Comey knew there was nothing. He probably falsified all kinds of crap in those notes. He was using his position of power to attempt to destroy a sitting president for some reason. But more alarmingly, he is so corrupt that he took notes as FBI director that by definition weren't his property. Since these notes would be the property of the FBI, and consequently subject to an enormous number of laws that would make it totally illegal to leak them to the press. He actually testified in these Senate hearings that that's exactly what he did. I could not at the time, and I still cannot figure out, why he wasn't arrested on the spot for violation of the Espionage Act and potentially treason. James Comey is as corrupt an FBI director as the very first one, J. Edgar Hoover, and Comey is quite possibly a traitor as well. However, this isn't new behavior at the FBI. People who refer to the FBI as the premier law enforcement agency in the country are completely unaware of history. The FBI has been dirty since day one and will always be dirty as long as it's allowed to exist. By the way, there is no constitutional authority for the FBI to exist in the first place, and it didn't exist prior to 1908. Somehow, between 1776 and 1908, we got by just fine without a Federal Bureau of Investigation. The federal government created the FBI using a complete misinterpretation, as usual, of the Interstate Commerce Clause of the Constitution. The FBI doesn't need to exist for one simple reason. All crime is local. If you commit a crime someplace, you commit it in a given state, in a given city, etc. All crime is local. And particularly with the 21st century, when we have the Internet and many other forms of instantaneous communication, there is no justification for the FBI's existence. If a criminal commits a crime in Nebraska and then crosses the border to Iowa in order to either continue or uh, complete a criminal transaction. In the 21st century, there is no reason that law enforcement from Nebraska can't contact law enforcement in Iowa. There is no 21st century reason that states cannot work with each other quickly and efficiently. The FBI is and has always been corrupt, and it always will be. The only way to stop the corruption is to abolish the agency and simply allow states themselves to deal with crimes that happen across borders. In the 21st century, there is no need for an utterly unconstitutional agency like the FBI, and it should be summarily abolished immediately. And James Comey, in particular, should be clapped in irons and put on trial for his life. I guess that's basically all I've got to say about that matter for today. So thank you for watching. And if you like what I'm doing, please do like, sub, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and to tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would certainly appreciate your support, either via subscribe star, my PayPal tip jar, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all three of those in the description box below. So thanks for watching Tales from SYL Ranch. And remember, for a breath of fresh air, Watch Tales from SYL Ranch, news and commentary from the heartland. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.